when we got here and it was terrible. Craig was really sick. <laughs> and then yesterday training was better but still not great. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, no one, uh, no one guessed your favorite Pokemon yet. And, well, yeah, someone did now, but it took them too long. And I even gave them the hint, like, normal type, there's only, like, maybe ten of them in the original 150, and people didn't guess Tell it. Tell me it was a Jigglypuff. Nope, Chansey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jigglypuff is a close one, though, Jazz. Listen, I mean... This is a question, you know you did like, it was a clean and, it was a clean, was it a clean and jerk event? Just a clean. Just a clean? Yeah. And you did it against Thor? Yeah, half Thor. <laughs> and what did he clean? Uh, he ended up cleaning 410, and then at the end just like push pressed it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much trick pressed it. <laughs> What did you clean? Uh, 398. Whoa. Yeah, back when I was strong. Badass. You got to lift against the strongest man in the world. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. It was cool like just seeing the angle from the back because he was literally like three times my size. Like his shoulders were like three of my shoulders like looking at it from this way. But uh. No, he's a super cool guy. Child luck. Thank you. Sorry about that. I am a child, it's okay. <laughs> so pre-workout, is this a typical pre-workout? Um, no, it's usually coffee, but I saw this and I needed it because I got zero hours of sleep last night. Banging a croissant. <laughs> I'm banging a croissant. <laughs> what have you got in the croissant? Honestly, it was handed to me. I'm not sure. Cheese. Maybe ham, some pineapple. Just kidding, <laughs> there's no pineapple. Yeah. And then in Dubai, when I was driving with Sarah, even more terrifying. <laughs> Never in a car with me. Never get in a car with Katrin or Sarah. <laughs> um, I'll take it. Yes, drive. Look, if you want to get in the car, get in the car with Jazz. I can't do press it, but I can drive okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, so he just was with him last weekend in New York, Jess Griffith, and she left her laptop there, so she said, can you send me my laptop, all my clients are on it, so he overnighted it for 125 bucks, she opened it up, and he sent his laptop. So she <laughs> I had overnighted to, Jess my own laptop for $125. So he had to go do the, the next day, and they, they bumped the price on him to 150 for some reason. <laughs> they must have saw it on his chest when he walked in. Yeah, they knew. They definitely and so now he has no laptop? And he's out 325 bucks. No, what, two, two, I'm sorry, the bad math. Yeah, quick math. Quick math. Yeah. You just live here now? Yeah, basically, I moved in. Yeah. No, I would never leave Matthew. <laughs> just unattended for a few days, that's all. That's all I can handle. He's in a corner in a ball trying to read labels on food. <laughs> Which day was this? <laughs> Very clear instructions. He bought me a labeler, I labeled everything. <laughs> Nice. Hopefully Tia and Shane are rocking him to sleep at night. It's okay. What happened? <laughs> you, were, you were where when what happened? No, I, we were in Columbus with them when they saw snow for the first time. Shane and Tia. Yeah, but then how much snow was actually there? Um, uh, well, you like could still see the grass. Snowflake. You could still see the grass. <laughs> see the grass? It literally was like... No, but when we woke up this morning, <laughs> when we woke up in the morning, there was like enough of a light dusting where you could see footprints uh, in the yeah. snow. Like there was enough. You could still see the grass poking through, but there was enough to get excited. Was it romantic? Um, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Did, did, Sh we... did Shane jump into Tia's arms? He, he yeah. did. That's when it got romantic. When Tia held him like a baby, <laughs> and they looked up at the snow falling in their faces. It was amazing. They Magical. Did. Did Who took the photo? That was me. Yeah, no. I'll send them to you. No. They did have a cute little snowball fight, and it was funny. So, yeah, snowball. They were like. And it was like blowing up in their hand. <laughs> Jazz the whole time we've been chatting has been doing a workout. I've just done 7k on it while well, she's been doing just chatting. Hey. I'm done. I can just watch you then. <laughs> I want to sweat in this shirt. <laughs> this is not a workout shirt. <laughs> Hey, that's cheap. That, what is this? What is, what is this? Why do you have this worst squat mobility? <laughs> My ankle flexion 
literally like that's as far as it goes. It doesn't go any farther. How come? That. How come? <laughs> Two years old, I was flipping around and my ankle was just. Oh, you do gymnastics? Then. I did gymnastics a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> this is my regular air squat. Like, if I go like hip under, like literally like I can't air squat. <laughs> Hey, people right are learning. Here, I can like, I can get a little one, but it's still really bad. But yeah, I just live with those uh, inserts in my heels. Oh, nice. I put them in and yeah, used to it now. I've tried. I've tried everything. I've tried like smashing them, like grasping, like putting weight on my knee and like pushing my knee over my foot. And, Nothing works. It's literally like steel. That's how I can flip around. I've got steel ankles. <laughs> well, you don't need the perfect air squat to make it to the games team. That's what we just learned here. It's true. Yep. Also, if you've got bad ankles, it's just bad luck. <laughs> it does let you do cool flips, though. So yeah. That's a flip. Jazz has to do a round number on a machine. Yeah, so I stayed on to 15k. Yeah. Actually, 15 is odd, so you might have to do another 1k. Yeah. <laughs> What's the workout? So, 100 toes to bar, 100 wall balls, 30 pounds, 50 stand back cleans, 50 muscle ups. Well, well demonstrated. <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah. Wouldn't feel right not hanging with Ali and doing some gymnastics. So, we're going to do some gymnastics. This is carpet in here, listen to this. It's the kind of rap music that you don't know what they're saying, but you can vibe along to it. I love that style. The style's kind of my favorite. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, it's so clean. Get me a pretty penny for my Funniest person you know? Apart from Jazz and I. <laughs> Apart from Jazz and you. Um, I don't know. That make wads a gr like great again page that makes me he's laugh. Funny. Yeah, he's very funny. If you could meet one person, like anyone ever. Anyone ever. Um, Beyonce. No. <laughs> I like that. Beyonce. What's your favorite song? At the moment of or all time. Like all time, Elenium, Beautiful Creature is my favorite song. At the moment, that new Sean Mendes song. Super catchy. It's been stuck in my head for like the past three days. What's the worst job you've ever done? Um, I worked at Arita's Italian Ice. So I served ice cream all day and it was the worst job because all I did was eat the ice cream and it's probably not the best thing for me when I was 14, 15 years old. <laughs> when did you get into CrossFit? You, you did gym, gymnastics before, right? Yeah, so I did. I started gymnastics when I was like two. My parents were made it really young, and I stopped when I was 12. And then, um, yeah, all throughout high school, I just played different sports. I played volleyball, I swam, I dove, I ran track, I played tennis. So it was like I played a ton of different sports, but didn't really stick to one. And then when I graduated high school, I went to college to play volleyball, tore my ACL in my first tournament, and then started squatting and using CrossFit to get my legs stronger, and then just stopped playing volleyball and started CrossFit. So I was like 18. What happened to the show? Look, show the scar. Yep, uh, when I was 12, so this is actually the reason that I stopped gymnastics. When I was 12 years old, I was in a car accident and had a subscap avulsion fracture. Um, so they had to go in and cut my ligament down, reattach it, and the doctor was like, basically like, you can never do gymnastics again. Um, so never went back and then just like started playing different sports after that. And now you're doing, you're like one of the best gymnastic crossfit. Yeah, just crossfit gymnastics. It's a lot different than regular gymnastics. Yeah. So, uh, doctor, what? Doctor, you got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty cool. So in CrossFit Reykjavik, you see like they have the Normatec leg things just here for anyone to use. Now, once you come out the gym, this is the reception, and you can get the, the Normatecs. Hey guys, no, hold on, 24 bucks. Thank you. We're getting confused by the currency over here. So they have <laughs> 168. What do they have as a currency over here? Icelandic krona to a pound, and it's pretty much like what? 150 to a dollar? Yeah, something like that. And so he got on the bus earlier and it was 2400 and he nearly 
so. <laughs> I was like, I'll, I'll just walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long to walk? Four hours, I'll take it. Where do you think I got it from when I came down with it? You know they speak of the Icelandic water team. This is the freshest thing I've ever tasted. Air too. They've self-bottled air. Icelandic air. <laughs> what was your job? I used to be a wedding DJ. That's so quick, quick, Can you do that? No. Oh gosh, it was all on iPads. I literally would show up with like my speakers, my setup, and plug into iPads, and then I had a, an actual digital system that was like. Um, one of the turntables, but you essentially load your iTunes into this DJ app, and that's how I would run. So you were like the you brought the vibe to the party. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What was your what song would you drop at the party, which made everyone go crazy? It's so it depends. So I used to do that, and I used to do bar and bat mitzvahs, and those were like the funnest parties ever. Just hanging out with a bunch of 13 year olds, getting them to like dance and do limbo and all that stuff. Weddings, it's like you have to start with the oldies, you get people up and dancing, you sprinkle in a little pretty young thing with Michael Jackson, and then you hit them with the new age stuff. You gotta like time it appropriately. Yeah, it's gotta be appropriate. Mm -hmm. People would... learn some big things on these vlogs. Two dogs? Yeah, two yeah. dogs. Because then they can, you know, be friends. Yep. It's got. You, you, ha you have one dog, right? Two. Two? two. Yeah. Oh. How do you not oh. know that? Sorry. <laughs> two. Misinformation. Because you have the golden retriever. Yeah, so I have the golden retriever, and then I also have a black lab. Yeah. What are they called? Annie and Loki. Anakin and Loki. We just did. Uh, Jasmine, your food's ready. Yeah. <laughs> he, apparently, he's been shouting us for five minutes, but it's literally there. Yeah. We might get a golden doodle, though. Yeah. Like, we have clans or whatever. I posted on my story once, so now it's like 50 people are in the clan. I'm pretty sure like 38 of them are people who follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Okay, so this, you learn stuff on this vlog team, and not only is Alex Smith like ranked in CrossFit in the world, he's also ranked in Clash, Clash, of, Clash of Clans. Not Clash Royale, Cla oh, no, I'm sorry, Clash Royale, not Clash of Clans. Clash Royale. Clash Royale, yep. the mobile game, and if you want to join his clan. Hold on, let me pull it up. It's called Krypton. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't play for like over three months, I'll kick them out. Are you the leader? I am. Wow. <laughs> World ranked. It, it started out as just the people from CrossFit Krypton, and then my little brother and I just took it way too seriously and kicked everybody out and invited good people into the clan. <laughs> and now we have a pretty good clan. Also, can you just put your your hat on backwards? I just yes. want to I just want to put the music on. <laughs> Hold on, I have to do it correctly. He goes like this. <laughs> yeah. Back, back, back and all. Can you actually imagine having a Pikachu follow you around all day? Uh, that would be the best. That be? So cute. I never got a Switch. I like never got into the new, the new uh, ones. We yeah. got it. Craig's impulse buy a few months ago. Yeah. You won't good. regret it. I almost did just for Super Smash Brothers, and then I just didn't. I want to get Crash Bandicoot on it. That's my next. One. That's on it too. I might get one then. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Look, team. Open and stop. <laughs> he walked into the door. <laughs> There's a couple of things that me and Alec obviously disagree on. Mainly around pizza and fruit, but it's fine. But one thing we do agree on is that soda streams are great. Yeah. Sponsor dad. Sponsor dad. <laughs> you know, just bubbly, sparkling water. But I was saying, this water is so fresh that I kind of prefer this to sparkling water. It's very good. Icelandic water is way better than American water, that's for sure. And also, it freezes, and Laura Horvath nearly died last time they came. <laughs> Insert clip here. Apparently there was a huge drop off on the other side of that. Good day. I'm having a great day. You having a good day? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Day. Gotta catch them all. The sun is out in Iceland. Like, you know, we, so people always say to us, we are the CrossFit Pokemoners. Yeah. So we just caught another one. <laughs> but the all funniest right. comment for me was when we went with Greg Glassman, they're like, oh my God, you found Professor Oak? I was like, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> well, that was pretty funny. Half of Jazz's DMs is of fluffy dogs. I'd say probably 80%. <laughs> it's higher than 50. And half of Alex is a... Uh, pineapple pizza. Crazy help. some choice words about putting pineapple on pizza. Yeah. 
People get offended at some like, strange things, Tim. Yeah. Yeah, why? I'm so offended that he actually puts pineapple on his pizza. I was one of the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question. What has your favorite event at the CrossFit Games been ever? Favorite, like most fun event was the handstand walk, obviously. But honestly, like my favorite event to me personally was the marathon row. Like, yeah, I just because the whole like year, le six months leading up to the games, that's all I worked on was like that long endurance type stuff. In the previous year, I got like dead last in the endurance event. In the marathon row, I got 16th. Nice. And so I was very, very happy like to see an improvement. And so, like, after that event, it just, like, fired me up. Do you want to comment on your handstand push-ups? The parallel handstand push-ups? Yeah, because everyone was like, whoa, what is this guy doing? <laughs> yeah, I, um, it's just something that I never, like, I would always do them that way, and I never knew that they were different until the first year at the games, I started doing them, and then I, like, got comments and DMs, like, what are you doing? Like, do a tutorial on how to do handstand push-ups like that. And I, like, went back and looked at the video, and I was like, whoa, mine look different than everybody else's. Um... But yeah, you keep your legs straight. Yeah, I just keep my legs straight, and I think just from being so comfortable in a handstand, it's just like something that I naturally gravitated towards, and uh, yeah, it's just like more efficient for me. What's the funniest thing that's happened at the games? Honestly, nothing sticks. Like, the games is something that's like, I don't know, it's, it doesn't, funny is not a word that describes the games for me. Yeah, if that makes stressful. Sense. Yeah, it was very stressful, like, um, it's not as fun as people think it is. <laughs> yeah. The games are separated. <laughs> really serious. It's like your whole year though. So your whole year of training to go to that and then you have to perform and it, yeah. it must be just like, oh. And you have to perform under their like time constraints and like, it's very hard. Like it's, it's stressful. Um, but you're going back this year on a team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And are you excited for that? Cause that's gonna be your first year as a team. First year as a team, yeah, I'm very excited. We, um, we just like mesh so well together at Wadapalooza and no one knows what the games are gonna be like this year. Um, so I think all of us collectively were like, let's go team, let's have fun this year, see how the games turn out individually. And then like, if it is our, like a goal for us to go back next year individually, we'll all try. Um, so yeah, just taking like a little year off from individual, a much needed year off from individual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, it's crazy. Fun. Yeah. Now we're gonna enjoy the event. Funny moment at the games. What's the funny thing that's happened to Ben at the games? Uh, did you see him uh, 2014, I think, where he like wiped out on the beach? Do you remember that? Yeah. They like highlighted it. Do you, do you pick on him for that? Over again? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't really pick on him much. We, uh, we don't really pick on each other. I don't know. You're a good family. <laughs> so you've moved to New York. I have. And uh, describe it in three words. Good food. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> really big buildings. Yeah. Really, really big buildings. You have three seconds. Okay. The first word that comes to your mind right now. Three. Pizza. Oh, there we go. Cool. <laughs> Take my hand.